Hi guys, this is Vitorials. Today I want to show you how to create this vector uh, robot in Adobe Illustrator. And this is very beginner friendly tutorial. I will show you how to work with basic shapes, how to work with Pathfinder panel, and how to work with uh, shape, build, uh, shape Builder tool and uh, uh, Stroke panel in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started our tutorial. Let's begin with the rounded rectangle tool. To keep things organized, I created five layers for head, neck, body, hands, and uh, track. So, let's get started with the rounded rectangle tool. Hit on your artboard and set the width of your rectangle to 120 pixels. And set the height of your rectangle to 35 pixels and corner radius to 24 pixels. Click OK and set the color of your rectangle to this uh, yellow. Now we need to draw a, an eyes. To draw an eyes go to the ellipse tool. Uh, click on your artboard and set the uh, width of your ellipse to 26 pixels and height of your ellipse to 26 pixels and click OK. Then set the color of fill color of your eye to white and set the stroke color to black. Drag it. You can align it. Make sure that you align to selection. Now we need to select this eye and we need to create a pupil. Uh, to create a pupil, we'll go to the scale tool and set the value of 30 pixels and click copy swap your uh, stroke and fill and set the stroke value to none to create this pupil now select your eye holding shift key deselect your head and group it and now open the move dialog box to open the move dialog box double click on your selection tool Set the value of uh, horizontal uh, move value to 60 pixels and vertical to 0. And click copy to create your second uh, eye. Now select both of your eyes. Click right mouse button key and group them. And now select your head and eyes and go to the horizontal align center and align them. Now we need to create an antenna. For this go to the line segment tool, draw a line, set stroke color to the black and increase the stroke to two points and go to object, arrange, send to back. Now we need to create a circle. To create a circle go to the ellipse tool, holding alt or option key and shift key, draw a circle and set the color of this circle to this orange. Excellent. Now you can select all of your head and group. Now switch the layer. We will create a neck. Go to the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle. 45 pixels uh, width and uh, 10 pixels height. Set the fill color of this rectangle to this volume. Now select your neck and your head and align them horizontally to the center. Move the, your neck to the head. Now go to the round rectangle tool and create a round rectangle with width around 60 pixels. Set the color of this rectangle to yellow. Make a duplicate of this rectangle. Go to uh, edit copy, then paste in front. Now go to the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle. Make a little intersection. Then go to the shape builder tool. And select this intersection. Delete unnecessary stuff. Go to the recolor artwork tool and 
uh, increase the saturation on 3% and decrease the brightness on 3%. Click OK. Nice. Now we now we need to switch a layer to body. Go to the rounded rectangle tool. Hit on your artboard. Set a corner radius of your rectangle to 16 pixels. Set the height of your rectangle to 160 pixels. Set the width of your rectangle to 140 pixels. Click OK. Uh, now I am go to Direct Selection tool. Select your bottom, all of your bottom anchor points. Go to the Scale tool. Drag from the center to the your right to increase the size of your bottom part of this rectangle of this body. Scale down your body, the height of this body. Now I want to select all my artwork and align them horizontally. Now, now we we are going to uh, create a screen. To create a screen, create a rectangle. Set the fill color to this dark blue. Now go go to the pen tool, draw draw a triangle that cover a one half of a, of your screen. Go to the uh, recolor artwork tool. Increase the brightness, uh, decrease the saturation, and click OK. To create this effect, group them, select both of them using shift, group them, select both your screen and your body and align them. Now I am going to create these buttons. To create a button, create a rectangle, hit on your artboard, choose set width 16 pixels, set height 10 pixels, click OK. Now set color to this orange and now grab this re rectangle and move it to the brushes panel. If you can find your brushes panel go to the windows brushes or uh, click shift F5. In the open dialog box choose pattern brush. Set the spacing in this dialog box set the spacing to 30 and click OK. Now delete your rectangle, grab your line segment tool, holding shift key, draw a line segment and click on your pattern brush. For you it, it's pattern brush number one, for me it's pattern brush number two. And uh, scale your stroke weight to 0.75 to create these three buttons. Now grab your selection tool, holding Alt key, drag your buttons to the bottom. And now hit Command D or Ctrl D on your PC to repeat this operation. Now we have a controls, you can select them and group them. I will uh, drag them to the left with left mouse button, uh, with the left keyboard button key. Now I want to create a slider. To create a slider go to the rounded rectangle tool. Switch to corner, corner radius to 24 pixels. Click OK. Delete this with backspace. And now create a slider. This is nice one. And choose a dropper tool. And select sample the color from your eyes. And now swap fill and stroke. Now create a circle, go to ellipse tool, holding shift key and uh, uh, alt or option key, create a circle that is wider than your slider, set the color of your circle to this orange. Now I am going to scale my artwork just a little bit with ctrl plus or command plus. And holding Alt or Option key, I am going to and Shift key, I am going to create a duplicate. And now I want to select both my circles. And with Shape Builder tool, select this part. 
bottom part. Go to the Rakala artwork tool. Increase the saturation on 3%. Decrease the brightness on 3%. And click OK. Now you can you create a handle. Now we are ready to create our hands. Now I'm going to create a hand. So select your hand layer. Go to the circle. Uh, go to the ellipse tool. Hit on your artboard. Set the width of your circles to 30 pixels. Set the height to 30 pixels. Click OK. Give it yellow color. Now I'm going to draw a line. Go to line segment tool. Holding shift key draw a line. That is cross one fifth of your circle. Select both of your circle and gear line. Go to shape builder tool. Select this segment. And delete this segment. Your line. Move this shoulder to the to your body. Now go to the arc tool, holding shift key draw an arc. A little bit holding shift and alt or option key. And set the stroke color to this. Great, so double click on your stroke and set the stroke color, then increase the stroke weight to 15 points and now make a duplicate of this arc, Control c or Command c and paste it in front, go to the object, paste in front, set the color of this duplicate to this to the black go to the stroke panel set the dashed line increase the gap value to 9 points set the dash uh, value to 9 points click ok now I want to create this handle Draw a circle around 30 pixels. Set a fill color to this yellow. Now go to the scale tool. Scale your circle on 70%. Click copy. Set the color to this orange. Now I want to create this handle. Go to the polygon tool, draw a polygon, set it to this yellow color. Now double click on scale tool. In open dialog box set the value of uniform 50 pixels. Click copy. Now control Y or command Y to enter the Outline mode, go to rectangle tool, draw a rectangle, make sure that your smart whites are turned off. Now go to shape builder tool, select this handle. And delete all unnecessary stuff. Ctrl Y or Command Y to enter the normal mode. Go to the Dirac selection tool, select two points and align them to your right. Then select these points on your right and align them to the left. Now place it, go to the object, arrange and set it to back. Nice, now I want to select this handle and scale it down. And I want to select my hand and group them.
Now go to the reflect tool or click all. Holding Alt key, click on your robot. In open dialog box, set uh, axis to vertical and click copy. Now select both of your hands, group them. And now you can group, select all of them and group your robot. Nice. Now I'm going to create a track. So switch to the track layer. Select your neck. Holding Alt and Shift key, drag it to the bottom. Hold the left mouse button key on this green rectangle and drag it to your track layer. Now I'm going to create this track. Go to the rounded rectangular tool. Click OK. Hit on your artboard. And set the values to 165 pixels width and 36 pixels height. And click OK. Set the color to this volume, to this light gray. Set the stroke color to this to black. Increase the stroke weight. Go to appearance panel. If you can find your appearance panel, go to the windows appearance. <clears throat> Click on this left bottom icon to add a new stroke. Increase stroke weight to 3 points. Now go, go to stroke panel, choose dashed line, decrease the width of your gap and align stroke to outside. Nice. Now we need to create the circles. Sorry. Holding Alt and Shift key, create a circle around 25 pixel width and height. Give this circle this gray color. Now holding Alt and Shift key or Option and Shift key on your Mac, drag the circle to your right. And now repeat this operation with Ctrl D, Command D on your Mac. Select your track, group them, and now select your track and your stand, group them, and select all of your composition and align them to, to the center. This is how you can create this funny robot. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please thumb up, subscribe. I will come back to you very soon. And of course, you can visit tutorial to download this as freebie. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.